Sesim Simfirm increases the participants' awareness and capability of operating a company from a general management perspective in a competitive environment. Participants manage a manufacturing company with international operations. There are up to three market areas and two production areas available. The markets differ in size, growth prospects and customer preferences. The team will be responsible for managing their company over a time span of multiple years and decisions including marketing, production, delivery planning, capacity investments, quality control and finance. The simulation is designed to reward those who can best identify underlying trends, change in customer preferences, competitive landscape, and who can successfully craft and implement a winning strategy. The key learning goals of the simulation are to increase the participants' awareness of operating a company from a general management perspective, to help the participants cope with uncertainty and to recognise the interactions in a complex and interrelated operating environment to increase participants' capability to interpret and forecast market situations and market results and translate them into goal-oriented decisions, to enhance fact-based analytical decision-making by linking the decisions to cash flows and bottom-line performance, to give students practical experience in teamwork and problem-solving while exciting competitive spirits in a dynamically evolving marketplace. Each simulation market consists of two to 12 competing teams, with up to eight members in each. The number of parallel simulation markets is not limited, making it possible to utilize the simulation for any number of participants per course. The simulation is played over two to 12 rounds, with each round constituting one fiscal year. Up to three practice rounds can be played before the actual rounds. All teams begin from exactly the same competitive position with the same resources teams compete against one another, not against a computer, so each team's decisions influence their competitors' results and the market development overall. SESIM simulations come with a state-of-the-art case management facility. The instructor can modify the storyline and change market and customer behaviour, costs and other parameters that influence the operating environment. The SESIM sim firm user interface is structured as follows. The home page has general information about the course and team, as well as upcoming deadlines. All decisions are made under the Decisions section. Suggested steps help the participants to make decisions in the correct order. Market Outlook is an important source of information that gives indications about what is happening in the operating environment. Teams can sell up to two products in up to three markets at any time during the simulation. Teams must decide the market priorities for each product, as well as pricing and promotion for each product in each market. There are tools that help the teams to try different scenarios and refine their offering. On occasion, special bulk order customers may request large quantities of products, in which case all the competing companies can participate in the bidding. There are up to two production areas available in the simulation. On the production pages, teams decide about investments in buildings and machinery for that particular area. Here, teams can also invest in operational improvements, which improve productivity and decrease variable costs. Finally, teams decide how they will allocate the total production capacity between the two products. Product quality decisions are done under the quality control page. By investing in quality control, the teams can improve the attractiveness of their products. Lastly, on the financials page, teams can see cash flows and they can manage the company's liquidity. Optionally, capital structure and dividend policy decisions can be included here as well. Throughout the decision-making interface, participants have access to a projections menu, providing continuously updated figures based on the decisions and estimations. The menu consists of profit and loss statement, balance sheet, key financial ratios, and parameters. Those include previous round results and budgeted figures for the current round. Each team member has their own decision-making area, and they can make their own decisions and estimations. The decision checklist page shows all team members' decisions side by side, and teams can select which decisions they want to submit as a team. After each round, the system generates a collection of reports that can be downloaded to a spreadsheet for further analysis by clicking Download, and also printed using the Print button if required. A 
slideshow of results can be accessed here and includes an array of charts and graphs detailing various aspects of the team's performance. The reports become available immediately after the deadline, unless otherwise chosen by the instructor. They include summary report, market report, production report, logistics report, and financial reports. The teams can be benchmarked on a variety of metrics. The most common winning criteria are the cumulative profit or cumulative total shareholder return, but the instructor can choose whichever metrics they prefer. The simulation schedule is available on this page. The schedule page presents the deadlines for registration and also the actual rounds. These deadlines are set by the instructor and can be modified during the simulation if needed. Teams and team members in your market can be viewed here. Teams can also change their company name if they wish. Readings contains decision-making instructions and a case description. The instructor can also make course materials available through this section. There are two separate discussion forums built into the simulation, one for the whole course and one for each individual team.